How well does your dog behave around cats? Tell me in the comments below. If you need help with that topic, that's why I'm here. So make sure you're subscribed and click thumbs up to dogs and cats living in perfect harmony. I had the pleasure recently to meet up with a very playful and curious Sadie. Now, Sadie's human parents, Arden and Catherine, would like Sadie to show some restraint with the family cat, Chloe. Why do dogs chase cats? Because dogs like to chase small, furry animals. She's really interested right. in that cat. Whenever I'm asked about problem behaviors that are a result of an outburst of energy, in this case, a dog chasing a cat, the first thing I like to do is try and get the dog exercise to get that energy out of them. Let go. Yes, go. See how running from them makes them bring it back? Oh, come on, what's up? Go get it, come on. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Good old fashioned game of keep away gets them into it as well. A prerequisite to teaching your dog to leave a cat alone is that A, they know stay, and B, they know stay with mild distractions. Check the description for those videos if you need help with that. Do not feel like you need to rush this process at all. It's okay if this takes weeks, even months, but since Sadie's already been through some of this, it's time to address her direct desire to chase Chloe. I asked Catherine to put Chloe down to see if Sadie would pursue her. An overall theme of our training should be encouraging our dogs to look to us for direction. Anytime she starts focusing on Chloe, we want to get her attention over here. Look at me. Initially. The domestic dog exists because they are so good at taking direction from people. I find using a really calm voice when introducing a dog to a cat is an important thing. Very good. Yes. Right there. Why did I click? Did you catch that? That was a quick moment. Took your attention. Yeah, since I like what Sadie is doing, I will click with my clicker and follow it up with a reward. The highest quality and most efficient way to bring about desirable behavior from within your dog is to teach them to do it of their own accord. But we should resist the urge to touch our dogs unless we absolutely have to. This is a great example of communicating with your dog and bringing about desirable behavior from the inside out. Surprisingly hard. Uh, 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 uh. Look at me. Good. Right there. And right here, I'm avoiding touching her because I want her to think. Look at me. You're doing very good. Over here. Come on. Sadie, come. Come on. Sit. No. And here I'll block her because she's trying to get to the cat. Good. Stay. Come here. Sit. Uh uh. Sadie, sit. We're going to be sweet. We're going to be gentle. Lie down. Good. Right there, looking at the cat, looking at me. I love it when they do that. That's a cat over there and you're staying. Yes, very good. Stay. We have to have manners when dealing with a cat. Very good. Be sweet, you're being very sweet. That's good. And I'm, I'm not even gonna give her food here. With obedience, we want to have a medium-term exit strategy for food rewards. We just used that food and that clicker on the initial stages. It was time to see if Arden could do this and get the same results. Say here, here, here. Yes. Awesome. That was it. That was a really good moment because we have a cat right here. Arden was fantastic with his timing, patience, and sincerity. Three essential qualities to possess if you hope to teach your dog. Here. Come here. Yes. That was it. Good. We're going to go ahead and put her on leash because we want to get her a bit closer to Chloe the cat. This gives us a safety net if she gets too far away so we can reel her in. Yes, good girl. girl. And right there, I mean, plain as day. It would look subtle if you didn't know what you were looking for, but I think you saw it. Yes, so good. And then, you know, I'm gonna try not to love on her too much. A dog that chases a cat is usually one that just wants to play. We can meet that desire with our dogs by teaching them games that involve chase or fetch. Today's question is, does your dog behave well with cats? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you're following me on Facebook so that you can see my secret dog training videos and click thumbs up if you like the video. Hey, subscribe too.